is going on everybody how are you doing today okay well we have a problem <laughs> let me open up here mini shop and i'll explain why in just one second all right so i can sit down over here okay let me close this door because the traffic makes a lot of noise all right uh let me see if i can put you here How are you all doing today? I'm hoping that I have a right angle on that camera. Uh, yeah, so we have a problem. And uh, our AC unit is blowing warm air inside the house. We're ready for air conditioning and um, um, blowing warm air. So a couple things that we can do um, to see if we can get it to... to uh, get going and one of them probably going to do a little cleaning of the coils i bought this uh, uh foaming cleaner air conditioning coil cleaner and it's uh it's what you might call it uh walmart special the cheap old one um you can also use uh dawn dish soap um but this kind of foams up a little bit and um um, it's kind of like a foaming cleaner, so we're just going to clean those coils. We're going to do everything possible um, to see if we can get it up and running. Um, might be a small chance that we may have to call the service guy and maybe uh, uh, add the uh, 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 charge it up. We'll say charge it up because I know that they use chemicals or uh, or whatever they use. I know that some some chemical that we're using back in the day was is discontinued so uh, and I'm not sure what they use now I don't know I'm, I want to say R22 but R22 is insulation or for I don't know uh, uh, but um, anyway we're just gonna uh, clean it up and uh, we'll see what happens all right so let's go out there and clean our air conditioning unit uh, so and then we'll try a couple things and see if we can get it up and running. Let's go. Okay, well, uh, first, a little disclaimer. Um, I'm not an HVAC guy. Um, I did work with my brother for a couple of years uh, as a uh, installer, which back in the day we used to call it, well, I used to be a tin knocker. So that, that means installing uh, ductwork and stuff like that. So uh, what's happening is, I talked to my brother and uh, we went through a few steps and so you got to stick around to the end um, to find out what really happens with this AC unit and uh, uh, we're going to do a few things uh, um, before we call in the service guy you know uh, but anyway here's the unit so we're gonna we're gonna get the fan running we're gonna clean the coils and then we're going to see what's going on with the uh, compressor and the charging of the uh, Freon or whatever. So this is a temp star, uh, good unit. Um, so uh, I'm going to go through a few steps and uh, just uh, um, what I'm going to do to uh, get it running. And if not, then you know we'll call in the uh, call in the service guy and uh, we'll see what happens with that. All right, so we're going to find out what happens. First thing we gotta do is we gotta lift the fan, the fan up there, we gotta lift it up and off so we can spray the foam. Uh, on the inside of the coil, you wanna wash from the inside out, basically. Let's do that. want to show you so what we're gonna do is uh wash the condenser from the inside out it doesn't look it doesn't look 
it does not look bad at all okay there's a few things that you need to do or you should do at least once a year uh, which you kind of you can kind of do it yourself um, you can hire somebody to get it done um, but it's pretty easy I think you could do it yourself um, so we're just gonna wash this unit down and also what I want to do is eventually we're gonna put a little bit of a little canopy here because because of these trees behind me they're always releasing pine needles and pine cones and uh, yeah got a lot of pine needles everywhere um, so let's clean the inside of this out with that foam cleaner and then we'll do the outside
It's dirty. Real dirty. I'm going to continue to wash it from the inside out. And then I'll wash down the outside. Uh, the trick is to just try to wash it from the inside out. Because it, the dirt and everything goes from the outside in and it gets stuck in there. So the best way to do it is just to clean it out in the opposite direction. Got a lot of planes here today. A lot of traffic today. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Okay, so the AC is clean. I just gotta put some screws back in. Make sure you put all your screws back in. And look at that. So, I know that my, uh, my brother appreciated. Big shout out to uh, my brother Albert. Uh, he's, uh, he does uh, HVAC. He's been doing it since he was like 18 years old. So he's got a lot of years in the AC, uh, HVAC uh, field. And uh, he gave me a couple of tips. Thank you, brother. And uh, um, we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, compressor won't fire. I cooled it down. It was warm. So it must have been on a lockout or something. Um, the AC was blowing warm air inside the house. And now, here we have 45.5. I think that's what it says. A capacitor, but it doesn't look swollen or bad. But doesn't mean that it's good. But most likely, if they're bad, it'll be all swollen up. Okay. We'll pull down the compressor. Fire this thing up, see what happens. Okay. I cleaned out a lot of pine needles down there. It's filling up the pine needles. Maybe uh, at one point we'll get it covered. Let's see if she'll run. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, I think I have the switch off on the inside. All right, let's turn the AC on. Put that on auto. See what she does. Cooling it down did the trick. I hear it. Fan is running. Okay. 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 Okay.
running. It wasn't running before. Looks like we might have some AC. Then we got it. I think the compressor overheated uh, when the uh, capacitor wasn't uh, running the uh, fan. So I swapped out the capacitor and uh, I had to come back and cool down the, the compressor. So let's see if that works. <laughs> okay, okay. So the saga continues. Hold on, hold on. There's more. Okay, I was just talking to my brother and uh, uh, fired up the uh, the uh, what you call it the uh, air conditioning unit and uh, um, he heard it over the phone. He was looking at it on video chat and whatnot, and uh, he said, uh, "Herm, uh, I think that compressor sounds like it's bad." So. We're looking at probably bad news. Well, I know it's bad news. We had a service guy come out after I did all this work and cleaned it out and got the uh, blower fan going. And uh, uh, so, uh, bad news. Well, we need a, uh, a compressor or replace the unit. So, we're looking into just replacing the compressor because it is a good unit. Just so happens that the guarantee just ran out so uh um yeah so that's how that goes thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe if you want and uh um so these were just a few steps that um i took from uh getting a getting a unit to run to uh the fan to run the capacitor to start the uh uh, a compressor and uh, it overheated went into lockout so we cooled it down and uh, um, fired it back up but the uh, compressor within 10 minutes shut down we got a service guy came out and looked at it and he uh, uh, verified uh, that the compressor was bad so we started with bad news we ended up with bad news but not the end of the world uh, we are going to get a, a replace uh, replace the compressor um, now we know now you know and uh, uh, on to the next job um, I'm working on a small shed I got to do some repairs and so I will see you on the next job and don't forget to have a blessed day